Our project was to determine the velocity of water flowing underneath the surfboard while you're surfing it and get that data to a computer on land. He's going for a wave. And did you do it? We sure did. Some kid asked me, like, what's on your board? You know, what is that? And, you know, we'd, we'd have to try and tell them it's a microprocessor that has water velocity sensors. And then they'd, they'd kind of nod and, you know, paddle away. So what we want to have is a surfboard that has a ton of sensors on it for velocity. The faster the water goes, the more each of these sensors will bend and create a stronger signal, which we will then interpret as a, <laughs> we'll derive its velocity from that. Each of these uh, eight bend sensors gives a signal, and the signal runs through wires embedded in the board, and uh, you can see where we've carved channels in the board. It goes up to our microcontroller kind of area up here. We do two things with the data from that point. The, <coughs> it is A, stored on an SD card inside here, just like you'd find on a camera or whatever. And uh, B, it's simultaneously transmitted through a radio like this. There's like a, a sister one of these inside here, and uh, it sends a radio signal with our data to this one, which is kept on shore. Everything hypothetically could take five minutes, but everything always took at least three hours. I think that was like a big quote in our project, like, oh, it's only going to take five minutes. Like three hours later, we're going home. <laughs> Well, we were just stoked to get, uh, get good data. Here's Dan's first wave. Here we go. And to be you know, measuring, measuring something, and like I said, surfing for school. Test number seven completed. Data is good. Data's good. Here he goes again.